Yeah, look, it's time to figure out the CQS shit once and for all. We're going to try and use Grok to figure out exactly what we need to do to create a brand new account and start growing the CQS right away. All right, so I had a think and it has said that it's dug through the web X post forums like Black Hat World, because that's what I mentioned in the prompt to figure out what's going on. All right, so let's have a scroll through here. So actions that raise thoughts for com uh, thoughtful comments. Yeah, that's a little generic. Regular meaningful comments. Not one line as an active thread. It's boost your score. Yeah. Ah, uh, here it. So this goes with my theory that I had. So in other videos, uh, we've been speaking about CQS, and I said that I had a theory that CQS score was based on the delta between upvotes, posts. So those combined together and comments because posts and upvotes are what reddit farms can be employed to do to manipulate the platform and then comments imply adding value to subreddit so it looks like i am right okay so that's a start 10 to 15 minutes a day commenting sporadically just replying to things All right account security verify an email two-factor authorization link in a phone number all right first i'll just try and comment on some subreddits that grok suggests assuming yeah. Yes, it has. And then after that, um, with a fake number and see if that helps. And then later in the video, we'll check the CQS of the accounts and then, um, and then we'll see where we're at. All right. Safe subreddits for new accounts. All right. Okay. So this is interesting because I can't remember if I mentioned, yes, I mentioned that the Reddit's list of CQS friendly subreddits was misleading because in another video, we actually commented on one of those subreddits listed on a brand new account and the account got banned straight away. I think it was on last week's video. So this is interesting because it says that it has scoured the list and it is determined that these subreddits here can be posted to from a new account with no issue. So let's do this live, all right? So um, no strict karma. Ask Reddit, I'm not 100%. Mm, oh, I'm not confident about that one. Shower thoughts? Short, quirky comments. Rain is just the sky squirting. All right, cool. Okay, so this is a Reddit account. I don't know, I created a few weeks ago. We've just been in like Reddit mode on this YouTube channel. Um, I created this, it uh, looks like two weeks ago. Haven't touched it since. Just made one comment. And as you can see, it is not banned. So that's a good start. But because there's been no activity on it since I created it, the CQS will be at its lowest, which means the account is still very fragile. So we'll see how good Grok really is. All right, we'll go in for it. So shower thoughts, let's find that. There we go. Then we'll join it. I'm already joined. I don't know. Normally when I create a new account for a YouTube, I just join like one or two subreddits. So that'd be pretty random if uh, I happen to join this one. All right, so Grok says that we can comment and we will be fine. So here we go, we'll find out. If I comment and the account gets banned, that could shorten the video and it won't be looking good. We'll just have to try again next week. All right. Being unaware of the expression, ignorance is bliss, doesn't make your life any better. Uh, all right, so we'll say the epitome of irony. Now, remember, when you are commenting and interacting, remember, it is still a girl's account because that's the whole reason for this. We're finding out how to grow these accounts so that we can just start marketing on them straight away to grow only for, you know, to grow your models only fans. So while doing this, you have to make sure that you also look like a girl, all right? All right, moment of truth, Grok, let's see how good you are. So the epitome of irony looks pretty real. It, you know, looks pretty thought out, I guess. All right, now we'll comment. Aha, uh -huh. good sign. Okay, moment of truth, we'll click on profile. If it is, fuck, look. Oh, Grok. All right, so this account is officially cooked. All right, so the video wasn't over just yet. Um, I was playing around earlier when I came up with the idea for the video and I was going through getting Grok just to figure out what's going on. And it mentioned something about Reddit detecting if you're using the anti-detect web browser and that can kind of lower your score. It also mentioned that you can, oh yeah, 2FA, we spoke about that earlier. It actually doesn't matter now because the account's banned. So we'll try that on another video perhaps next week. Um, and then some other things we can do, we'll have a look because I'll do them next week, right? So this account's cooked. It's a slow and steady grind, but that's why I keep doing this so we can figure it out. And at least we're all learning something together. Never mind the fact that I'm using like 
$10 fucking proxies on each, each of these accounts. All right, so this hasn't actually done much. So next week we'll try mobile emulator and we'll try creating an account on a PC uh, and anti-detect. We'll mix up all of the, uh, I know, the fingerprint and shit and anti-detect web browser. And then we will try the 2FA to see if we can boost the CQS. So the account's cooked, so you will never see this account again. And don't comment in that to start off with, right? So anyway, hope that helped. Now, if you like the video and you want to know more or you're interested in starting or scaling your own OnlyFans management agency, then click the link below. Join the school. You'll find everything you need along with me and a whole bunch of others in there. We can all help you grow and including Reddit stuff. So YouTube is normally the experimentation. We experiment together. And then when I figure it out, then I put it in the school. So anyway, as usual, if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and we'll do some more experimenting next week, all right?